What is up guys, it's Sauce and Wes, and welcome back to another video. I hope you all enjoy this uh, realism gameplay that I captured a few few hours ago, you know, I thought, thought it was kind of cool, I need something to throw into a video, so. As promised for my last video, here we are. We got some Modern Warfare realism mode off the uh, Radeon RX 5700 XT that I managed to order from whenever I was gone. Ultra settings at 120 frames a second. You can't go wrong. Also guys, let me know down in the comment section below who all plays Modern Warfare and uh, what do you play it on? You play it on PC, PS4, Nintendo Switch, Game Boy Advance? Let me know. So I've been playing this game for about, I wanna say four or five days now. I remember whenever I was at training for uh, MP school, I managed to get pass and I went to the bowling alley. I ordered a little gaming booth and I was able to actually download and play the beta on Xbox. And I'm not gonna lie, it looks pretty bad, but now that I have it on PC with this uh, new graphics card, I'm very glad that I had ordered it. Hey, and no hate to all my Xbox and PS4 homies out there. Hey, we'll be playing together. They got my back sometimes, you know? So anyway, aside from the visually stunning graphics that this game has to offer, I've been having a lot, a lot, a lot of fun with it, all right? Overall, I really think that this game was a polished masterpiece, all right? Like overall, the gameplay works great. I love the time to kill, and it's realistic as heck. And going back to the time to kill, uh, it makes for some really nice clips, all right? Some really nice clips. I don't know if you guys managed to see the uh, the previous video I had posted a couple days ago. Um, kind of recommend you do. Uh, it was kind of cool. I don't know. I just kind of pushed. I just kind of put it all together on my phone. I hit the clip, exported it, and polished it up all nice, pretty. Made a little, made a little cool little video out of it, man. And now that I finally figured out how to work OBS. I could start doing more stuff like that. Shit, I might might end up posting like a nice little quick scope montage, get like 10k views. That would be awesome. That would be so awesome. So let's talk about the weapons that Modern Warfare has to offer. To me, I feel like every weapon amongst the ARs, the SMGs, the sniper rifles, even the secondaries, RPGs, pistols, all of them have their own unique playstyle amongst each and every type of weapon, from the MP5 to the P90, it's got its own unique kind of playstyle, if you know what I mean. For example, you can take the stock off of most of the ARs, basically turn them into a run and gun SMG, which is crazy. That's another thing. I think that Modern Warfare absolutely killed the gunsmith in this game, alright? Absolutely killed it. In a good way. I like how the game gives the player the ability to personalize their own weapons in a way that suits their playstyle, even if it's a weapon that they wouldn't enjoy using. I mean, eventually you get you get the players that want to max out all their camos and get the uh, gold, the platinum, or whatever. And whenever it comes to use those weapons that they don't really like, you somehow manage to have fun with it. And that's all thanks to everything that the gunsmith has to offer. And if you are a casual Modern Warfare player, Call of Duty player, that's cool, man. You know, hey, it's always good to just sit back, relax. That's that's all I used to ever do. I'd, I'd never really go for the camos. I'd just sit there and play the game because it was just fun, you know? But if you haven't gotten into unlocking camos and skins yet, I highly recommend you do. It's a nice challenge. It'll keep you busy, you know? And when you do complete those missions slash challenges and you unlock those camos, you can show them off to all your friends, you know? So would this game be good for a first-time Call of Duty player? And by first-time COD player, I mean like never, ever touching a Call of Duty ever before. Maybe they played a little bit of Halo at their uncle's house or whatever, but never, ever played a COD. I think that the answer is yes, and let me tell you why. If you guys don't already know, the last few years for Call of Duty have been an absolute mess, all right? Absolute mess. I'm talking like the double jumps, the wall slides, I mean, and I'm sure that that appealed to a younger audience for a very long time. I mean, I remember whenever Black Ops 3 came out, or no, 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 actually, it was Advanced Warfare, all right? It was Advanced Warfare. That was the very first COD that I had ever personally owned, all right? And I remember Treyarch got so much backlash from that, so much backlash from Advanced Warfare. But no matter all that backlash, no matter what, I still loved the game, all right? I, I used to play it all the time. I'd get my homies over, we'd run up split screen, and it made for some good times. Now, do I think it's a good game? No. Was the story good? Yes. But was it fun? To the extent, yeah. I could say it was pretty fun. But I would have rather much have had a Modern Warfare game be the first Call of Duty that I've ever owned. Simply for the realism and the nostalgia that brought along with it, you know? I used to go to my buddy's house on the uh, weekends, or even on the weekend, weekdays, you'd get off the bus, go after school, 
I'd go right next door and we'd be running up Modern Warfare 2. And this is why I think this game would be great for a first time Call of Duty player. Uh, young, old, no matter what the case. Simply because of the way the game looks, the way the guns feel, how pleasing it is with every headshot that you manage to hit with a sniper rifle, and the extent of realism that Modern Warfare has to offer. Now, I will say the map design could have been a little bit better, you know, but that's what DLCs are for, and apparently Modern Warfare is going to be releasing every single DLC for free. The only thing you'll ever have to pay money for is cosmetic items in the game which is also a very great way to market out the game. Now, the community, on the other hand, still a little toxic. You know, they, they, they'll be getting a little salty for a corner that they didn't manage to check or a guy sitting there mounted over a thing of sandbags just waiting to, waiting to get that 4K, you know? But honestly, you can't really blame them because this game is kind of hard to get the hang of. And that's another reason why I do recommend it to first-time Call of Duty players. The game promotes camping but I'd rather prefer the term tactical positioning. Now, do I agree with campers? No, but are they doing it because they're not good? Yes, and this is assuming that the camper is a new player, all right? If there's a prestige four in the lobby and he's just sitting in the corner, that's kind of sketchy, you know? And he's probably just doing it to mess around with your gameplay. And in a way, that's Modern Warfare promoting the reality of war for you and what it's like to be in a battlefield where a guy sitting in a dark corner with a sniper rifle just picking you out you know it happens it's real life because the game is meant to be more realistic than a running gun which i can settle on but then again if you have those new players that are camping they gotta start somewhere you know just give them a little bit of slack you'll get them that just makes you want to check your corners a little more makes you a better player and it makes the camper a better player by making him want to move around a little more we all just need to trust the process i have a lot of faith in this game and it's going to be one for the books for sure all right i think it's fair enough to say that call of duty has redeemed itself all right and that's that's a that's a big statement all right but i honestly do think so with the story the way the story's going right now whew, awesome amazing the realism oh it really shows the dark side of war that not many people see not that not much of the public sees which i think is just so cool i think that infinity ward is marketing out this game really well all right really well already no loot boxes none of that none of that bullshit you know i think we all we can all settle we all we all kind of hated those those little things stealing your money god points god points god points and where they released the game like super early from it being like completely done i'm sure they have so many more maps and content coming out within the next few months i'm really excited so overall i really think that call of duty outdid itself with this game it appeals to all audience in a way from old to young i had drill sergeants up at ait that were gaming on it <laughs> they couldn't stop talking about it they were they were rubbing it in our face they're like a hey, pride guess what i played yesterday what drill sergeant Oh, just a new bottom warfare, motherfucker! And yeah, so this has been my honest critique of the new Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Again, they really outdid themselves. I cannot wait for this content to drop. I can't wait to be making more videos featuring this game, bringing it to you guys with this quality ass content. Let me tell you. Now, there's one other thing that I did leave out. I tend to get a little mad on this game, but I learned from it, so it's okay. You know, I mean, everyone gets mad. It's a Call of Duty game. Well, that's that's what you should expect. But what I really want to know is what you guys think. Do you guys agree with me? Do you think Do you think that this is the Call of Duty game that we've all been waiting for? Let me know down in the comment section below. Anyway, guys, I really hope you all enjoyed this video. I'm always trying to start new stuff with the channel, trying different things, see if we can get that get that publicity. You know, <laughs> I'm uh, got a dick ride in Modern Warfare, but hey, that's just how it goes. So, uh, smash like, subscribe for more, check out my other videos, check out that Modern Warfare clip, I got more to come. And so, I want you to go out and have a good day today, or stay inside and play Modern Warfare, because I need more friends. No, seriously, I need more friends. And so, I will see you guys in the next one. Make sure you hit those post notifications, let you know whenever your saucy boys uploading more. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.